In Revenge of the Sith, we see the traumatic events of Order 66 and how it impacted the Jedi, and in return the birth of the Galactic Empire. With the death of nearly all the Jedi in the galaxy, there was no doubt a shift in the Force. This was something that many of the powerful Force users could feel, one of them being the mysterious Jedi from the new Darth Vader comic that I covered a couple weeks ago. The Jedi who took the Barish vow, which was basically hiding out and not using the Force or anything that would draw attention to him. However, in Revenge of the Sith, at the time of Order 66, we see Yoda look like he was mourning the Jedi, sad with immense pain in his heart as he dropped his wooden cane on Kashyyyk, holding his heart in distress. Now over time in the comments, I've seen many of you ask the same question, which was why did he even react, seeing as how he was the main enforcer of Jedi being forbidden to have attachments, and to not grieve those who pass away, for they become one with the powerful force. Well, while I was reading Lords of the Sith, I came across this quote that I'd like to read to you. It's kind of a hidden gem, and I stumbled across it by accident, but I believe it will answer our question here perfectly. The Jedi cultivated a practice of non-attachment, which had always served them well. Few understood, though, that while specific, individual bonds such as romantic love or family were forbidden, the Jedi were not ashamed of compassion. All lives were precious, and while so many were lost in such a way, the Jedi felt the pain of it in the Force, as well as in their own hearts. Right here we can see why Yoda was exactly touching his heart and just how the Jedi thought about attachments. While they forbade romance and having families, they did indeed know how to love and show compassion. As Qui-Gon always said, the ability to live after death through the Force comes from compassion, not greed. This is why the Sith can't do it the way the Jedi can when returning as a Force ghost beyond the dead. So while Yoda is an advocate of not mourning those who die, it doesn't mean he didn't have a heart. He probably, more than all the others actually, had more compassion towards living things and the innocent. Did you know he was actually supposed to take one of the Skywalker children with him to Dagobah? But he thought it was too obvious, so he gave them to Bail and Owen. So I hope this answers the question and provides some insight regarding Jedi who showed sadness when one dies. Now my question to you is, what do you think about mourning those close to you? who die in Star Wars. Obviously in real life it's terrible, but as a Jedi, should they be allowed to show emotion? Or should they be more callous and closed off? I believe this is one of the main things that Luke changes in Episode 8, referring to why the Jedi must end. Thanks for watching everyone, I really, really appreciate the time you take to watch these videos. I hope they provide you with some fun throughout your day or week or wherever it is, whenever it is that you watch them. If you could, throw me a like and I'll see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you, always.